Here's to our friendship. I love you guys. I feel like I'm mourning what our friendship used to be. I don't understand what you're so upset about, Rachel. You're cocky. You're the poster child for mortgage fraud. I need my money laundered, I'll call you. <laughs> you're a bully, Teresa. You're dirty. Everybody was right about you. You're a piece of shit. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 14 trailer. And let me go ahead and start this out by saying I really was gonna review this because I reviewed last season, and last season tore my nerves to pieces. JB, I feel like either Melissa or Teresa gotta go, or they gotta get demoted. I don't need to see the brother. I don't need the storyline is done. The storyline for me has run. Damn. I am done. Hang it up, flat screen. We have nothing else to talk about. Honestly, truly. But y'all, get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, and let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out. I'm a flaming lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, one it, securing the bag. Best. Shout out to the season on um, 13 girls, the new girls, for getting a second season. Pause. One thing about every other cast besides Potomac and on Potomac in Atlanta is they can at least fake the funk that they cool because we know they not but here we go my tissues don't cry I'm gonna miss you so what's up with Paul and Doris he's still married he won't get divorced I don't know Dolores yeah, I already know you future yeah do you think if I get divorced, I'm just going to get down on my knee and engage you next day? I'm going to have to rethink this. Where have you been, Dolores? Your marriage was better. She's my girl. Damn dumb. Are you, like, reflecting on me? Everybody loves the best floor. I know, like, Stepler. Stepler. We got the best floor. I think you're awesome. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm warning what our friendship used to be. I don't understand what you're so upset about, please. Pause. Why do people do this? Like, y'all get mad because, like, don't get me wrong. Like, my best friend have friends that I don't really fuck with. However, I'm, I can be amicable. It's not like I don't fuck with them, but it's not like beef and blood and nothing crazy. However, it's just like y'all over here shedding tears because a bitch is hanging out with somebody you don't like. Girl, you're a grown-ass woman with kids. Get it together. But to each his own. We're going to see how it plays out. Jackie, Jackie Judas, Judas Goldschneider. Goldschneider. You, you want to tell Teresa something? something? I'm being friends with whoever I want to be friends with, and I don't care. Jack was trying to get her peach. <laughs> you have like a hard on for my husband. I don't know why. It's, it's a hard on him. It's Olympic with your husband. I'll be Teresa. Honey, I want no part of it. I want no part of it. You're the poster child for mortgage fraud. No way, my husband. Thank you very much. They fight. Jackie should have did this at Teresa's wedding when old girl was trying to check her about basically being cool with Teresa at her wedding. If you was going to talk shit at her wedding, then bitch, you should have stayed home, right? So, I mean, it is kind of a little bit calculated for Jackie to be cool with Teresa. However, that's a grown-ass woman. Girl, do what you got to do. Get your peach or try to. <laughs> The trailers be meh. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Okay, so 
let's go down the list. Teresa, I saw word on the street, Teresa and uh, Melissa and Margaret, they didn't film together at all. So Margaret and Melissa did not film with Teresa. Thank God, because I don't have the fucking time to deal with the Melissa, Teresa shit. No more. But my whole thing is y'all accommodated them, but y'all not gonna accommodate anybody else. Like if y'all would've bought back Phaedra and Candy, would y'all have kept them to get separate? Like, how are y'all gonna sit up here? It's not realistic for me for for them to do that in the first place. Like, I don't give a fuck if you don't wanna be around them. If you don't wanna be around them, then don't do the show. But Twitch is on. Teresa, I feel like she didn't know who she was getting married to, and she got married fast, and all this stuff is coming out about Louie. I don't know if it's true or not. It's alleged. Girl's none of my fucking business, but he do seem shady as hell. Melissa. Melissa wants to be the girl that you know she wants i like melissa aesthetic on paper i like melissa right but i feel like with melissa is melissa lies a lot and melissa hides her hand and when something comes out where especially with the nieces and shit and they call her out she's just like what they don't like me no they don't like it all you see how you treat their mother like so no they're not gonna fuck with you right um rachel i feel like rachel is just a minion in this case I feel like, yes, she's really stepping up against Teresa, but I feel like it was a situation where she had to do that because you're trying to get a season two. I get it, but it does seem a little bit forced. And the whole beef with um, Rachel and her husband and Teresa and her husband, it seemed a little bit like out the blue. Like when he brought the whole manila envelope and said, oh, I know all the stuff that about you, but didn't open it or read any of the receipts in it. The fuck are we doing? You're wasting my time. You're clocking. Right. Danielle. Danielle is very um, exaggerated. She has this big personality. But my whole thing with Danielle is that I think she rode on the short bus. Because you literally saw how Teresa and Jennifer played you for dust and played you in your face the, la the last two episodes of the season. But then you come to the reunion. Then you come to the reunion stuck on fucking stupid. So I look at Danielle like, girl, you are not that smart because they've been, they've been playing you. So if you're going to go off on Jennifer, you need to go off on Teresa too. Right, and they owe you an apology. So you talking about, oh, I see you, cause you're so dirty. Girl, she been dirty. The fuck? So I'm just like, Jennifer and Teresa used you, but you don't see that. Well, you're gonna see it now, right? Margaret, I never really saw from Margaret. Um, I feel like sometimes, like I feel with Margaret, she don't follow through with the stuff that she, that, that she do. Like with the whole Danielle situation, you pour a drink on her, you expect her not to snatch you up? Oh my God, she snatched me up. Yeah, you pour a drink on that woman. Um, Dolores, when I say I think Dolores single, before I go to Dolores, Jennifer Aiden, I think on paper Jennifer Aiden is a great housewife, she really gets the party started, however, I the last two seasons for me, Jennifer has been draining because you can say whatever you want about everybody else, go low to the gutter, go down to the white meat, right? They talk about how Candace talk shit, Jennifer Aiden be, talk, Jennifer Aiden be talking shit, I feel like Jennifer Aiden and Marlo be talking shit however you talk shit about them but when margaret pulled your car and called your husband out about his affair now we're over here so distraught going to therapy over here in a corner shaking rocking back and forth namaste Ooh, sh it doesn't make no fucking sense because you had all that to say about everybody else but now when they come for you it's all of this right Dolores, I think Dolores might single-handedly be the biggest flop for me. I used to love Dolores and I still have a soft spot for Miss Dolores. However, girl, all last season, you really didn't have no fucking storyline. And then you was trying to get engaged to this man, not, and I don't, I'm gonna say she didn't know. He's still married. And then he talk about, if I get divorced, you think I'm about to marry you? Do you think if I get divorced, I'm just gonna get down on my knee and engage you the next day? <laughs> So where are we going with this relationship? Because Dolores ain't no spring chicken. She look good now. Don't get me wrong. Dolores, Dolores is probably the baddest woman on the cast. Dolores body bad. Oh, Dolores looks so good, right? But you can't be that dumb. This show really just gets me going, right? But we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to review it. It seems like it's going to be really entertaining. But we'll see what happens. The dynamics are shifting. Well, Jackie and... Um, Fessler, I'm about to be cool with Teresa. And then you got, um, who else are our friend? I think those are the only two friends. So we'll see what happens. Like the dynamics are shifting. So 
Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and comment down below. See you guys later. Peace. Brian Keith, LG, Black Pew. Bet you didn't know we the Holy Trinity. Now let it go. Stop a dollar, break your head. Yeah. Step into the room and get up in the bed. It tastes sweet. That's good and good. It tastes sour because I'm better than the hood. Uh, because I get you hyped, but when I run out all around, because I excite you. Let me talk, let me talk real quick. You can't even get get with the shit. You want to go toe to toe with my flow? This is all I really ask you for. Uh, now I got to go. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Bye bye.